Hey everybody, good Friday morning. Now, today I want to take you through a really pleasant and unexpected language learning experience that I had this very morning. Uh, I was getting up, I was getting ready for the day, I was eating a bowl of cereal while sort of thinking about today's topic that was going to be more of a sort of language learning tips and method focused sort of video. But as I was preparing my first cup of coffee, uh, for, for whatever reason, I was just feeling super, super mellow and almost meditative. And I don't know, I just, for, for whatever reason, I couldn't think about the video topic. I, I was holding my coffee and I just, I was like, I should be enjoying this more. I shouldn't just be drinking this coffee, going through the motions. I wanted to like enjoy the, the warm sensation of the cup in my hands. I wanted to do something that would help me just take a moment. And I looked over and I saw, you know, the graded reader that I've been reading in Mandarin Chinese sitting on my coffee table. And so as I took that first sip, I sort of, um, I just opened it at a random page. Um, and I just took a moment to appreciate the fact that th these pages are just full of Chinese characters. Even if it's a graded reader, even if there are 300 of them, it's just, it's incredible to just take a second to realize that, you know, I've been learning Mandarin now for almost two years and um, it's a lot longer than I would usually be learning a foreign language to get to the same level. And uh, that's because I've been doing this, as many of you will know, if you've seen my uh, Learning Chinese While Busy series, that yeah, I've been learning Mandarin at a very just steady pace with a very, very busy life and many other super critical, important projects. And so it's been a slow and steady journey, which I think is a much more realistic representation of how language learning is for most people. And so to think back and just remember how incredibly foreign Mandarin Chinese was to me just a short while ago, you know, to remember how it was just so difficult to make coherent sentences to piece language together into a phrase or a sentence to understand the sounds, how daunting the tones were. And I, you know, wondering, does this ever get easier? You know, does it ever get easier to, to feel confident with the tones? Or do you always just feel kind of like you're guessing? And then to realize that I can read any of these pages and for the most part be fairly comfortable and fairly confident in the tones for most of them, even if I don't necessarily produce them uh, perfectly. It was just a nice moment of reflection. And so as I took probably my fourth or fifth sip of coffee, I decided to walk over to that bookshelf over there because I have all these gorgeous, amazing books in so many languages that I don't look at enough. And so the next thing I did was I pulled this book off of the bookshelf. So this is my book, um, Kopo Kopo Kohi. <laughs> It's a book all about coffee and it's in Japanese. And again, what I did is I just flipped to a random page and I started looking through these just streams of characters, top to bottom, right to left. And again, I just took a second to, to look at this and to read a couple of sentences and to just kind of appreciate for the first time in a long time, how darn cool it is. I mean, it's, it's Japanese. Right? I mean, if I think back to where I came from, a small village in the United Kingdom, um, you know, speaking one language for my whole childhood, um, it's just bizarre. It's, it's incredible. To, you know, like, just... I, I don't know. And so, after reading, like, about three sentences, maybe, like, you know, half a page of this book, I, I switched gears and I just pulled off this wonderful book, Seta by Alessandro Baricco. And so I just flipped open the first page because I always remember fondly the first time I read this first page of this book. It's very short. Most of these chapters are literally one page. And my eyes jumped to the sentence, 
for some reason, right in the middle of the page. Per vivere, Evejoncourt comprava e vendeva bacchi da seta. Right? Like this beautifully just written, well rhyming sentence. And then at the bottom of the page, it says, Hervé Joncourt aveva du uh, 32 anni, comprava e vendeva bacchi da seta. Like this recurring sort of rhyming pattern. And I just like, you know, as I was holding my coffee, I really, I felt that warmth of the cup and I just like melted into my seat. And I was like, oh, Italian, you know? <laughs> and then finally, I still had at least half a cup of coffee left. So I was like, you know what? I always think so fondly back to this book, Mes Amis, Mes Amours by Marc Lévy. And it's funny because I never actually finished this book and I noticed that the bookmark is still exactly where it was when I last opened these pages. And that was probably 2016, I think. And so I decided to open the book to the last page where I was when I last opened this book several years ago. And I'm gonna read you the exact little passage that I read. For whatever reason, I just opened the page and started reading. And it was like stepping back into 2016, sitting on a bench in my hometown in the UK. I remember where I was. I was right next to Minster Pool and there's a bench that sort of, it's right on the edge of the water and you're just looking out and um, Here's what I read. Épaté, Antoine récupéra les toasts et s'installa à sa place. Mathias descendit dix minutes plus tard. Il conseilla à Emily de se dépêcher. La petite fille embrassa Antoine et récupéra son cartable dans l'entrée. Tu veux que je remène Louis? demanda Mathias. Si tu veux, je n'ai pas la moindre idée du pays où est garée ma voiture. Mathias fouilla la poche de sa veste. Posa les clés et une contredanse sur la table. Désolé, hier je suis arrivé trop tard, tu avais déjà pris une prune. Il fit signe à Louis de se dépêcher et sortit en compagnie des enfants. Antoine récupéra la monde et l'étudia attentivement. L'infraction pour stationnement sur une zone d'accès aux pompiers avait été commise sur Kensington High Street à 0h25. Il se leva pour se resservir une tasse de café. Regarda l'heure à la montre du four et monta en courant se préparer. So I read that last sentence and that was all I needed. It was, a, I just, I closed the page, I drank my last sip of coffee and I, I just spent a, a few minutes just thinking, it's so cool. It's so cool that I can, that I can open these different books in these different languages. And of course, especially in French, which is the language through which I fell in love with reading and reading stories just like this was such a journey. And again, I just, I don't think I spend enough time really appreciating how far I've come, appreciating what I've learned and what I can do rather than always focusing on what I can't do. like you know, pronouncing tones perfectly and having a full-fledged, you know, adult complex conversation in Mandarin. I don't spend enough time just appreciating what I can already do in Mandarin. And also thinking back to these other languages where I put so much work in, I just, um, I, ca I truly cannot describe the feeling of just absolute splendor that I, experienced while just reading that passage this morning with my coffee. I hope you enjoyed experiencing it with me just now on this video. So I guess my only real message today is as we go into the weekend, we end this long week. I wonder if I can inspire some of you to have a similar moment of reflection an appreciation for how far you've come, for all the work you've put in, for all the progress you've made, whatever level you may be at in the language that you're learning. And especially for those of us who have learned more than one foreign language, taking time occasionally to just sit back, get comfortable, cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you might want, maybe even a 
glass of whiskey or whatever, whatever floats your boat. It could be a book, it could be an article, it could be a TV show, a podcast, or it could just be spending a few minutes journaling or talking to yourself, but just really genuinely enjoying the progress that you've made. I think it's really valuable and I certainly, I feel really good going into my Friday now and um, I just look forward to spending more time with these languages again and I look forward to finishing this book finally. Okay everybody, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing and perhaps even visiting my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Robin Okay everyone, have a wonderful day.